Your voice must be more higher than before. Nare Takbir. Nare Risalat. All my family Sunda. Hafid Uwais Raza Sahab Sunda Jaman Parta Tukumla Ani. So, Ya Rasulullah, you roll out the rotis 
and I will bake the rotis. So they made an agreement. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started rolling out the rotis after Bibi Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha already rolled out few rotis. And Bibi Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha was there in the kitchen. She was there by the stove, by the clay oven, and she was baking the rotis. And after a while, Rahmatullahi alameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam looked at Bibi Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sees that Bibi Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha is sweating and sweating and sweating. And her face is gone red in color. So Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh Aisha, to bake rotis is not such a big deal that you have to stand in front of the oven for so long that you have gone so red and you're sweating so much. All you do is put it in, let it get a little brown and you take it out. Bibi Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha looks at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and she says, Ya Rasulullah, the rotis which I rolled out, I took in my hand and the rotis which you rolled out, I took in my hand. Both these rotis I placed in the oven. But Ya Rasulullah, the roti which you rolled with your hand is not getting done. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh Aisha, whatever my hand touched, not the fire of this world, nor the fire of the other. This is the virtue of the root sharif. If anyone wants to know, if for the rest of my bayan or don't miss it, alhamdulillah. But take home this lesson that when you go, make this your daily wazifa, your daily amal, to read 50 the root sharif upon rahmatullahi alameen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you want me to carry on? Alhamdulillah. <coughs> पूछते क्या हो अर्श पर यूं कहिए मुस्तफा की यूं पूछते क्या हो अर्श पर यूं कहिए मुस्तफा की यूं केव के पर जहां जले को ही पता क्या के यूं ना दो खुदा ही खुदा ही दे सफर जाने पर गम دکھاؤں کیوں کر تجھے وہ عالم خدا ہی دے سبر جانے پر غم دکھاؤں کیوں کر تجھے وہ عالم جب ان کو جھر مٹھ میں لے کے قدسی جب ان کو جھر مٹھ میں لے کے قدسی جنا کا دھولا بنا رہے ہیں پیپل آسکی می تو دسکرائب می عراج وات این ایکسائٹی مومنٹ وی آل دے اینجلز from far and wide came to him and dressed him as the bridegroom of Jannah. <laughs> if I stand here and I talk about Mi'raj, Wallahi Billahi, I will be doing injustice. And if I keep quiet now and then I get carried away. Or if I keep quiet, it just means I'm lost for will. That Mi'raj of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we've got to understand the 178th name of Rahmatullahi Al-Alameen Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam is Sahibul Mi'raj. The person bestowed with Mi'raj. The definition of Mi'raj is an instrument that facilitates growth. Of course, in an exponential form, putting it in engineering terms. Simple terms, Mi'raj is something that stays, that makes you go up. It makes you go.